this this last example definitely deserves its own little video. It's chain rule within a chain rule. So we're just going to be a bit careful how we do this. So if I write it as sine of x squared all to the power 4. Right, so <coughs> chain rule, so I need to differentiate the bit inside the bracket. But the bit inside the bracket is its own little mini chain rule. Don't remember, sine goes to cos, goes to minus, sine goes to minus, cos. Always remember that clock face, which I'm convinced I invented, but I'm sure I just got shown it at some point. Right, so sine goes to cos, the x squared becomes a 2x. So if I differentiate the bit inside the bracket, it becomes a 2x cos of x squared. So I've done chain rule on that sine of x squared. Then, sort out the brackets. So I bring the 4 down, and I've got sine of x squared cubed. So to tidy it up, I've got a 2x cos of x squared. Well, actually, I've got the 4 there, haven't I? So really, that should be an 8 here. Let's make that into an 8. And then I've got a sine cubed of x squared there. Look at that, chain rule inside a chain rule. Right, let's do this one as well. So just kind of recapping. I need chain rule on the sine x squared. And that was my bit inside the bracket. And then I put the power at the front and took my left power. Right, let's have a look at this one now. So this is y equals log of cos x all cubed. So remember, for log, I differentiate the bracket over the bracket. So you've just got to remember these laws just through lots and lots of practice. Uh, right, so if we differentiate cos cubed x, I have to differentiate the cos. So that's going to be a minus sine x. Then I need to bring the power down take one off the power. So that's my top line. So I've differentiated cos cubed of x by differentiating the cos x and then bringing the 3 down and then taking one off the power. And that's divided by the original function which is cos x all cubed. So this is quite nice isn't it? Because if you look, you can't see my cubed there, can you very well? That's a cubed on the bottom. Make sure you've got a cubed as the power. It's quite nice because the cos squared will cancel, and what I get is minus 3 sine x over cos x. But sine over cos is tan, so that's quite nice that from something looking like that, I get minus 3 tan x there. Just think of that one, that's going to get you. So just a reminder, the cos of x all cubed becomes a minus sine x times 3 cos squared of x. But then it was divided by cos cubed of x, so it cancels down nicely. Right, there you go. Bye-bye.